is we can actually start doing a real-time 3D scan of the environment. So this is everyone on the front row. Um, I can sort of scan the skirt below the screen. Sort of scan the stage. And roughly start getting a 3D model of the space here in front of me. Now, the rendering of this hasn't really been optimized, so uh, it's going to start to get choppy as we start loading up the polygons. But you can imagine real online simpl mesh simplification or calling techniques to sort of keep this at 30 FPS. Um, so what you see on the left is a fisheye image, which is the uh, motion tracking camera. You can actually see it, you see my own hands holding the device. Uh, we have hardware accelerated feature tracks that run on the Tiger K1 GPU. Uh, so these basically give us optical flow. Um, we also have um, uh, the plots in the lower left, which is the gyro and accelerometer data. And we put a lot of hardware engineering work to make sure that we have very good timestamps of both the camera, the gyro, and the accelerometer in the same time domain. And this allows us to do very, very good, uh, basically, data interpolation and sensor fusion. Uh, I see some of you guys are waving your hands. You can't see yourself, but you're like two or three pixels big. Uh, uh, on the right is essentially the output of the sensor fusion step. So like any device, I can detect rotation. Uh, but what's different is that I can actually track my position. So let me just walk around. So you don't caught on the table. So I'm just going to walk to sort of the extent of the table I have here. And I'll even sort of run around. quite close to where I was when I started. Right here. So this event, this is essentially one of the core technologies that you get from our system. You get very good odometry and dead reckoning and positioning. And this allows us to enter unknown structures, unknown environments, go into unknown homes, and actually be able to track the position of the device in full six stop position. Uh, in the lower right, you actually see the position estimate with three numbers following. That is X, Y, and Z. And just to show you the Z value, when I raise it up, we go to one meter, we go down, or negative one meter. So this is a full 3D positional estimate that you get out of the box. 